East End. Speaking of that, Forsaken. Straight up towards lobby, and actually the ping's gonna get out the poor if Forsaken finds the opening. Yeah, but it's the rest of it that's a problem as well. That B hit is still finding very little success. Shiba even gonna claim Turco, and it's down to two, and they're already the walking wounded. Nice and brave, they're gonna have to do something quite miraculous in this one, and it's not gonna happen. Very clean okay. star for Paper X. Have this mid round pivot. They don't have the opportunity to kind of call these audibles. They have to wait and see what Paper X is going to do and make a decision based upon that. So this is uh, interesting to see the first two rounds go this way. Again, good ultimate progress towards progress up long. And Chiba may as well do this. Yeah, what, what a pickup as well. That's a rifle. Brave caught sleeping in this. Maybe they were the ones. Yeah. To sight here. Yeah, he just missed that timing. And and he's still going to get one, which is incredible value for this. And as he's made a meal of it, gets caught on the way out, trying to move around to the site and look at this. I've got to say it. Paper X look absolutely on today. And Russ is now buried as well. Wow. That's the boat. Right, it's Izzy who will have the op as well. If you've watched the prior games, you can see why Izzy is posted on that. And it does at least give SMB the step towards the site. Izzy leading the way, Mind Freak at the back, pinged out, he knows it. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. good positioning from Russ to make sure that was going to be picked up. A Divine, nice little high flash, does find one. Follow up, not going to happen. The jump peak was a little off kilter. And now we have Benkai, a 1v2 presented. He just got the first out of the third. They line up! Oh. Oh my, oh my, my heart skipped a beat, but poor up to send him into motion, and you can see SMB are very aware, now extremely aware of what he's up to. Now somehow Benkai claimed a quick kill through Gary. Attention. Right. Yeah. Because you know SMB are fully focused. There we go. There's the peak, and actually Hardly great clear. work from Brave. The wow. hard clear on the corner after we've not seen that look yet. We hadn't seen that. It had purely been the Astra back of sight or plateau, just kind of playing around it or platform, whatever you like to call it. And again, Brilliant approach from SMB. I want to highlight that. That's really this is much better. Going to stabilize them going forward. Players exactly. towards long. Exactly. They know they're still around here. They no will commit to this here. forsaken. He looked like he was about to turn the flash, but actually the timing's just off by a fraction of a second. And SMB will strike in that time. And now they want to get that site under wraps. But we did have the early lean off the back of that initial information. Shiba is still here, but Brave cracks open the site. That's huge. And now once again, Mind Freak in an unwinnable scenario. Perfect. Actually going to reveal him here, so they've located the operator. Okay. Actually, we'll try and find him with the Hunter's Fury. Ambitious. We'll get the tag at him. Okay, for second has to burn his dash. But Mind Feet Freak is still just finding the bailout, the get out of jail free card if required. They can actually give up the site to an extent. They'll say, okay, you take the site, we'll posture for a retake. We've got it to a 5v4, that's okay. And space-wise, they're all kind of towards CT right now. I want to see that split towards Garage, maybe take a bit more territory here. They do right now at least have SMB locked towards the side. And it looks like Izzy's postured up for a bit more of an aggressive fight. Just a little paranoid about that Garage play coming through. Flash comes in. Izzy getting ready for it. Here we go. Brave's found one. And now Brave from the back of the side knows there's more. But ooh, these are some brave crosses. They look panicked. But right now, the frags are not coming in just yet on the retake. Forsaken found one, but an instantaneous trade for Russ. As now looking at who's remaining, it is just Forsaken. And nothing is coming through for him here. It might be time to back away, keep that up. And see if he can catch a couple on the way out. Yeah, that's a landing, and he's got someone on the flank. SMB are right back in the driving spit. That does force out the Seekers. And they're actually gonna... Oh, oh no. no, it's a whiff. It's a horrible whiff. No, 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 no. Again, yes, Pora has great aim. We all know that. Anyone who's got a pair of eyes from a player, and we've seen what can happen with Divide when he's on a good game. So hopefully that doesn't, you know, echo throughout. But Forsaken is still alive, and there's still 30 seconds. Brave towards the side. Oh, ooh, he's still alive, and... You can see there's still danger with Forsaken, but it's nothing compared to the four that now still stand for SMB. Information or lack of contact on A. Here are those ults coming out, though. Gonna pop a few, but Izzy's on the side. Now he's in trouble here. 70 HP has to get out of dodge. He can't. Dubai takes a riskier peek to find him, and he reaps the rewards. And now there's gonna be the Blade Storm coming out as well. Forsaken's there. Main guy's there. When the right reads in the right place, they get the frags. They hone in on C Long, and it's shut down. 7-5 on the half. This is still a close game, but Paper X, a great start, and what you want it? I'm there. Brave, though. Gorgeous shot. It's a stunner. He's got a follow-up, too. The lay that wall there. and get out of there, but man advantage for SMB in the retake. Yeah, but look at the damage chipped away at. Not too much, but enough to maybe pull attention. I'm trying to look at these post-plant positions. Quite deep towards Garage, maybe we want to take that space back. Yeah, Mind Freak, this is a really risky fight. You're now just in a tunnel. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and now here we go. Springboard off the back, SMB want the side back. Device sitting at long, still only one flash. The next one's up in 30. You're not going to get much more than that. I hope you get some value. It didn't get what he wanted. Smoke's still up. Izzy wants to get that to halfway, and he might be able to do it. Device going to find one, though. And it's all falling to pieces, but Izzy will not be moved. The defuse comes in right under the 
their noses. What a fantastic coach. If Devai has been caught on timing here, this is going to be heartbreak. No, he actually looks back at the right time. So Pora's been caught off. They keep some map space this time. A little bit more to worry about now. You've got that time limit on. Maybe someone's flanking. We've got to make a move here, and that's going to be that. Brave okay. pushes on in, finds Forsaken. Benkai on the side now, called into attention, catches the push on Garage, and actually pushes deeper towards the defensive side. It's a 3v2. Mind Freak and Divine maybe a little baffled by this. This is falling apart for Paper X again. Turco going to find his third. Mind Freak will fall. And once again, I, I was say SMB weather the storm there, and um, they take a step back, and they look very, very comfortable. One long, one in sewer two. This is actually quite a forward lean coming out towards that A side. This is actually Turco almost playing anti flash. <laughs> we get smoked off actually. The tiger will clear out brave now. Actually, perfect use of the smoke death from Forsaken to isolate a duel. Yeah, exactly that. They look found the him. one fight, and Forsaken finds his way in. What? Three quick kills, and the site's all theirs. You could not ask for a better approach on that one, and you're right. It was off the back of being able to isolate some of these players with such limited knowledge. That is incredible work from Paper X. That's the side we're waiting to see. They have a couple more rounds to string together. The back of it will be Pora, and he has the swing from Rust if required, but it's going to be Pora taking this clean fight, and Forsaken cleanly takes his head off, so the site's all theirs. Spike now being planted. This is what you want to see, that adjustment. If it's just ways to facilitate Forsaken, I'm more than happy, and does he keep going? Playing on the edge of this, just around that corner, you've got Brave, you've got Russ. He's taking a little more space. Brave has got it. it. And look at this on the other side, though. Izzy and Turco are right there. The net's closing in. And the post plants are pretty deep. It's pretty much the forward two. Divine, Forsaken. Flash goes in. He knows Brave's close, but Russ is still fine. And the swing out from what? Brave. Hey, Xantara's peak, Brave peak. I mean, make it a Ferrari peak. Paper X are holding this down. That's important. Wall goes through. Izzy, though, up on top. Still looking for more. Trying to divide. Slice into manageable pieces. But the time, it's dwindling. And they ain't got much left of it now. Turco knows he's out of time. Out of options. He may drag some to the grave with him. But this one's done for. Paper X make it back now. Two in a row. Uh, that's really Paper X just coming out of that timeout. I don't mind it. It's actually a nice little counter read coming in. Forsaken, they're going to take the space and Brave's in all kinds of trouble. I don't think he realizes. No, no Forsaken clue. got away with murder. I know and now he's got so clear. much territory. Alt's coming out. Oh, this is hard to watch. SMB, Bora, how have you outdone him? He was aware of your position. He had the ult and you still win the fight. Sheba. It's so close with that. Sheba, that, but there was like three of them just around that corner. But the KJ ult, they have to respect it. Now, post farm wise, Shiba only has one shock guard left. The lockdown will get them onto site. Again, gravity well there, going to make sure that they're able to buy enough time to outlive this lockdown, Lauren. And now we go. Russ, that is a huge fight to win. There's still Benkai here. Keep your mind ticking over of Mind Freak's flank. There it is. Good for one. That's okay. It's not too bad. You'll put your life on the line for that. But now the fuse. Timing is everything. You can get it just about halfway. Smoke will dissipate beforehand. Denial. Shiba, huge pick up of a kill. Finding Turco is just the cherry on top of the cake, but denying the defuse was all that they needed. Self Forsaken had maybe a glimpse, but I'll fell off that. Again. SMB just have to wait to see what comes through that wall, and already one's made it up towards Zai. Russ is on the other side of this. Divai on towards Long, couple on towards Sewer, but Russ actually swings around, finding Forsaken, but it's a quick trade for Divai. Is he on the back of the site? Turco's there as well, and now they're going to have an instant watch hey, of both hey, pushing up from Sewer. There it is. Yet without any sort of worries. Now, you're going to hear the utility being invested. They now know that there's a problem on their hands. Benkai, in the meantime, did find Izzy, so now we're going to see Forsaken ready and waiting ahead of the curve. Catches them off guard, trying to keep what? that site under check. Spike going to be going down, and there it is. Post pawn 4v3, Russ, Pora, and Turco left scratching their heads. Is that the ult coming out? Yeah, it is. Okay. Is the base storm, yeah. Double stack towards Helm, one towards Sight. I guess. And then the late play towards Long. Interesting. Okay. Drop down first in. No trade. Nothing. It was just Izzy left to rock. Just what? What is this for a retake? No trades, no timing. There's the explorer on the other side. Exactly what we expected. And Forsaken's whiffed it. And actually, somehow, it still worked out okay for SMB. This is the... Uh, this is... You've got being gifted a platter of a round. It's all there for you. And just a couple of weird exchanges. And it's fallen to pieces. 20 seconds. 
Paperx, can you make up for an absolute fumble of an opportunity there yourselves? And here we go. Alts coming out online. Denial of the spike plant. Gonna be going through. Shiva tries to get aggressive to try and find some space. Mind free. Ah, uh, this is this is a round of soon to forget. You can see the pressure on these two sides. SMB is counting the lucky stars. And here we are. And again, you know, shout out Pora to be in a position to to I guess anticipate the very thing. This utility in place though. Pora's put some work down here early on. There it is. Shiva trying to catch a little bit of damage. It's divine to find Russ in the deeper angle for Forsaken. Man. That's massive. Turco now in danger as well. Forsaken doesn't have to fully back away. His presence is enough to control so much to facilitate and allow that spike plant to come in on B. And now there's problems everywhere. Neural theft will tell them everything they need to know. Brave, oh, Izzy and Turco call the bomb. The flash is perfect! The combination, the one-two punch, Divine and Forsaken. Ah, oh, he wanted to go a bit further on that, just eats the flash, didn't quite crest the corner. And Izzy and Brave, this is OT Rin all over it, Izzy now. Doing anything he can, you might as well make the fight, do what you can with what's in front of you. A 1v3, time dwindling, everything put against him. I think he knows this one's all but over, and they have to try and once again rebuild into this game a spray trip is that nice coming now <laughs> i thought about it mind freak forsaken deep towards a it allows you to push players over towards c one flash comes in it's a high flash it's going to catch on the pop as well benkai can slip towards the back of the platform benkai swings out this is exceptional work and the correct read and the celebration of paper x with the perfect approach Burn. again the out as soon as the out zone comes through there's a trade-off and forsaken's like well there's nothing behind it guys go towards no alarm bot to actually confirm this here, so Brave will be called upon. Oh, it just pops ahead of the, the flash. Okay, Brave's actually really got a clean fight on that. I thought the follow-up was going to be there. Brave had it all in front of him. How did Mind Freak win that? I have no idea. But it's a 4v3 and the spike will be planted on the C site. Now look at the retake. You have two players very close by towards CT. But that jet is still a fair way off. Izzy slowly working back in through B. That'll take a second. So time will have dwindled by then. They found another one. And untradeable too. Oh no, Izzy and Turco, what can you do with this? It's all on you two now to make something happen. Turco looking above that smoke, catches Benkai off guard. Great start. Has to be quick on this though. It cannot take too long. Turco now clears towards long. It's on site though. Shiba right there. Izzy falls! It's Shiba! Maybe play out the compositions that, you know, Kukuka was discussing and maybe some... Now we have to wait and see. Super massive blaze on the defending side and of course Paper X on the attacking side, but they are a map to the good for Paper X doing very well. As Izzy put under a lot of pressure over by Madonna. And set on vacation already. One for one trade out goes through. But the site is theirs and... Wait a minute. Russ is walking away. Feeling a little... A little worse for wear. My brave found a kill in response though. Taking the full sheep and now I have to go upgrade to the Sheriff. And Turka will find a head. Vi and Benkai now called upon the last two standing. To try and recover this here. It's going to be tricky. Yeah, especially with that shot coming in, pushing Benkai even further back. Ending. Puts it all to Divine. They should be able to start that defuse now. Put three players on. Just body block duty. Don't let him get in here. The flash actually didn't find either of them. And the first shot does. But good work from SMB. Good retake on the site. So the utility noted. Is he now in danger? Busy actually going to grab one on the way out. He's got a perfect readjust. I thought that was on. Is he just going to try and keep himself away from those Seekers for a second? Allow Brave maybe to catch his cross here. Turco's on the site as well. Brave does catch the cross. That's a great shot towards Shiba, but perfect trades coming out from Devai. Gets himself towards the site. The spike's been lost. Now he has to fight against the odds, which he's still doing. Devai is putting heavy lifting here. Benkai finally coming through double doors. Rust down to 27 HP. He's got to be careful on stairs here. Pora finally in position to back him up. He has to let Benkai work here. Benkai needs to be a little bit more proactive in my mind in this one because... Oh, look at the HP on Divide. They're waiting for a flash here. I think they're waiting Wait, for the flash. This actually could be so good. The timing, the time. They're right next to Oh my oh! god! Peekaboo! What a terrible surprise for Rust. Benkai, perfect timing. And this is still doable. Pora, yeah, he may only have that spectre, but the HP is low! And that's a great yes. shot. I still want to see what Turbo gets up to. Close flash reveals nothing. It is through B main, a laboured fight in towards Mill. It does eventually fall into the favour of Pora. Over here. Oh, top up on the HP. Three players very present in mid, and they've got the fourth kind of in support. They are all over the map right now. Forsaken needs a big round. He can only get one. If there was two, then game on. But they are at the back side of sight by Pillar. Is he now? And closer and closer that wall will go up, but the Seekers will confirm. I think they already know. 
to a three on site. And actually, Benkai caught sleeping. Mind Freak will be noted as well. Call upon Divine Mind Freak to try and recover this in a 2v4. And the spike in a very precarious position. You're going to need some big boy headshots. And <laughs> Mind Freak's not finding him. Divine with a quick flash. Chases it down. That has to be a quick kill on the backside. Gets away with his life. Right. And actually, bear in mind, this is now a 2v2. It becomes viable and possible. Divine, though, going to try and get Turco down. He can't win the fight. And now Mind Freak's in all kinds of danger. Russ on the front. And on the right side, Turco. And that spike still just out of reach. Clock not favorable to them right now. Eats the flash. More time being bought. 10 That's seconds is all he's got. Try and pick your poison. Looks like he's going to be trying to play the time. No one is peeking. Just double checking. No one's planting. I love this push and pull from either side. SMB make it to five. Kind of expected a little more him. Forsaken gets away with his life and actually does damage towards Russ. That's a crazy part. Now, that's been a trade-out in the meantime. Duvai and Turco both now removed from the round as Paper X do still have that mid-control. They're starting to maybe consider that B-site, but... Let's we'll see how it's handled on the other side of things. Pora, that's a big pickup. I'm kind of surprised Forsaken allowed that to happen. Maybe a little overzealous, but the trade's good enough. That's what he wanted. At least the site's now available. And again, a good indicator of Paper X actually taking a step back there is look how late the Viper Wall is going to be invested. Viper's pit as well on site just to make sure they can set up comfortably. Get this plant down. The Hunter Fury actually going to force Shiba off the plant initially, but no tag, no damage done. It does remove, I guess, something from Paper X there. Maybe they're depending on that telephone second being in the middle. I don't know what it is, but yeah, absolutely nothing. The problem is they've lost their player towards that B site. The rotation is so far away, they have no information on middle, so they're still worried that maybe there's a player lurking around there. This will buy time, cost time on the retake now, but Spike to be planted. Spike Look at the post plants. Just two towards the site here, two sitting way deeper. Super playing deep enough as well to make use of those shock darts he still has available. Forsaken going to be called upon here, but Russ actually finds Divide with some shock darts of his own to come in. Forsaken will fall as well. Now Benkai and Chiba, yeah, this is a problem. Okay. This is all full of parties. They're individual fights. There's no crossfires. There's no punish on these picks. I'm a little it surprised looked, in that post plant. It, it looked so well coordinated as well. Everybody in place to at least hold, you know, one potential, I guess, anomaly right there. But Gang, all just around the corner here. So they now know what's coming their way. Is he just... Fires up a shot, hoping for the best. Timing is everything, and does he just get the pixel out of place? Counts his timing right, he gets the pixel. It's mind freak. Instant trade. Devise right there. Devise firmly becoming a favorite player of mine, but it's Forsaken on the side who's doing the work as well. He's not alone in this, though. Wants to push deeper. Does. Loses it. Russ is right by the try box. What a play from Russ! Already? Forsaken was literally half. Yeah, he's half an inch of finding, is he? Oh. Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> Poor will find him nonetheless. So, a 4v5 for Paper X and ultimate's available. A couple of light. Actually, only one light armor in the hands of Divide, but you've got to question the utility behind this as well when we come back to that. Financial discussion, but Russ actually with the operator. I didn't even spot that with this purchase. I mean, they, they are just. <laughs> Poor looking Spike sharp now. Yeah, Poor is. Pora's mad. After map one, maybe just thinking, nah, not going to be messing around anymore. Finally goes down to Benkai, but they need a little more. They're still not winning out on the sites directly, so again, this is that mid-control. You're punching the players in between, pretty much, but it can be filled. The gap can be closed. My freak, though, could get a big punish. Oh, my Russ God. Russ still checks. Okay, Russ, fair enough. Yeah, close it out, bud, as well. Why not? Just put the icing on the cake. Ten to one. We haven't really seen them five alive post-plant until this point. Snake fires to rely on, and that lockdown now comes into play, and it's a, it's a huge component considering the Hunter's Fury on the side of Russ was invested. Okay, Shiba now forced out of the angle you slightly, so... There you go. You can see SMB getting a little bit closer, but there it is. Lockdown comes down. Mind Freak does find Pora. Russ is now caught as well. This is the first time we're really seeing a better look on this retake. Forsaken makes his debut, and it's not bad. It's only one, but it sets up the rest. Divide oh, in that first half, game back on. High flash for, for, for Forsaken, that's a lot of it in one sentence, and he's dead anyway, so why bother? It's already going to be easy to kick things off, get things started here, and SMB after a, a, the, the start we'd expect. Uh, yeah, I mean, they come out swinging, that's what, what you'd hope to see from them, but it's not gone their way in terms of those first two engagements. Spike not committed again, SMB with so much time to just sit and wait for Paper X to slip up. 
Will he find an opening? Is he with the phase? Boy, well, actually going to find Mind Freak in Ness. That Sheriff being put to work in the pistol round here. And he's out of Dubai. <laughs> Benkai again, Is he? <laughs> Is he, man? What a, what a game from him. And he was struggling in the last one. He was doing okay at keeping Forsaken tamed at times, but nice to see him let loose a little here. He's the flash, but... I mean, Devise 1 HP. Without the dream. There is no dream. He's in the bin. Devise, actually, with the, the purchase here, doesn't have that heal available either, so two very squishy targets for SMB to, to chase down here. Second one will be found. Brave will be the one to find the Shiva. Nobody really get anything done out of Ness there, so it has to resort back towards Arches. Benkai. Benkai. This is weird. It's yeah, really weird. still finds it. <laughs> Poor just maybe having a casual look towards like, like oh, maybe so. Why is he there? One Fair one enough. Oh, okay. SMB. Let's just wrap it up and get out. Again, that's easy. An opportunity oh, here to get an orb or... Come on, Shiva. And I put it, that's all I'm praying. Again, though. Still a chunk. Ooh. Still a chance if Forsaken's gonna do more of that. Alright. I need Bora, and Bora's been on. He is actually on though. one. SMB on stopping though. Brave's gonna lean on forward, just oozing confidence. The double stack though towards main is gonna be a bit of a weird one to handle. Brave's still gonna find the fight. Leaving old Forsaken kind of on his own, maybe until he gets that support, maybe for Mind Freak coming over, but Spike's gonna be going down, and what a curious round we have. The post plants will be a little Spike weird. Planted. Well, indeed. She will find initially some information, but Brave will find Forsaken. Shiva now. Come on, buddy. Find one. Ah, it's not going to happen. Mind Freak, the last way. one to deal with. One down. One. No. Heavily on that aggression, particularly on the defensive side here. Super fast mid, and it's pretty much all in, excluding the Cypher. So Pora, yes, he's over towards that A side, but that's fine, as Turco's already won the fight okay. towards Divine. Now mid's wide open. All these rotations are now super labored and so far apart from each other. <laughs> Forsaken <laughs> is on red alert. He's got four, excuse me, three players around this corner and one closing in around the back. He's got nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. SMB are on it today. Now Pora can be the one to catch those rotations. They're trying to flank in middle. It all slots into place, aside from Shivas. It's beautifully done there. Actually, yeah, Shiba was unnoted initially from the nade, but it comes soon. It will be a prime gaming flawless to start. Will I guess note at least two or three people because they chip a hole in that wall. Ooh. And look at the set piece here from Paperx. Yeah, but Paul is still here. It does get outdone by Dubai. That's a really good counter piece pushing in for that aggressive play towards B main. Now they're going to fall away from this because they just lost a bit of mid control, but it's garnered back by Shiba. Great work playing in. He does fall back towards the rafters heaven side. Izzy trying to aggress through this. They do have Spectres. It ain't perfect, but is this actually outdone? Shiva now Dubai. Oh no, it's only a walk one trade. There's still danger around. And Forsaken on the site. He should be his Mind Freak on the site. And Forsaken up towards heaven. Mind Freak is so blind. He's going to be taken out. And it's a 1v2. Now bear in mind, Russ had the rifle. The spike is left in a really dire spot for him though. 15 seconds for his follow-up flash, Forsaken on the angle, it's a great bit of damage on it, and the double stack towards CT, Russ, you're going to need something insane, not going to happen, Benkai, good, that progress towards middle, this is quite a common occurrence we saw in the opening rounds, that's a difference, Forsaken's got himself Five in there, at least for the one-for-one -one trade, so it gets a good, in here, Concealment. there's still actually some utility in place as well, but mind we've got to be careful with the timing there, <laughs> nearly caught off guard, but, Full info. yeah, Shiba will fall, and Mind Freak now, yo, oh, the angle, tried to work left. his way around on the pillar, but SMB of the site now in hand, this is a problem. And bear in mind how deep you saw Benkai and Divine holding towards A, these rotations, they're so far away. This is a save. It's gotta be. That was Forsaken maybe trying to double dip, which again is... I using that full alien coming out, so a different look here. Maybe they've gone, oh, we've got to address this mid piece, and now they're going, <laughs> we're going A. That's a different start though, Benkai. Huge impact at the start. Taking down Izzy is perfect. Maybe the head of the snake here, but Dubai right there beside him. Perfect shutdown from Paper X. This is the side I was waiting to see, but now it's still Turco. This would have to be an ace. He's got two. Can he get a res? Yes, he can. So he gets Izzy by his side, but will lose his life for it. So now Izzy. Out of charges. What can you do with this? Gets himself a rifle, and you have to be God's gift to this game right now. Tagged up, spots them, nothing more to be had. First time we're seeing a fully held sight hit there. Eber, it's all on you now. They're running your way. You have five players stampeding forward. One down, he gets the tag on the second. The slow goes in, tries to set up to Vi, but it's Forsaken. Dragging them down with him. You're not going to pass, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Keep him in check. 
Izzy will be shut down at the start here. That's in mid once again, so... Another bread and butter round for Supermassive Blaze to at least try and find some control in mid. No brave will... Yeah, actually Brave and Poor will fall in quick succession there. Sheeple will find a third as well, but Russ good for the trade. Russ actually the last man standing, so he can do any further damage here to the side of Paper X. One, that's it. That's all he's going to get. We're back right at the doorstep now. And this... Initially here, forced away from this position. Turco actually on a solo swing for a second. Actually double dips, finds a second. And will get away, but is he? Closes the distance to right now with an operator. Anything Typical. you can do is slowing down these two players, hitting that rotation. So now Mind Freak is going to be put to test against Plenty now. Yes, Pora goes down, but he's trying to buy time. Mind Freak's the big boy, and he finds him on the way back to the side of the vent room. Is he? No subtlety, feeling bold yeah. enough, but they've got to know. There's two players here. The feet show the Brave wins the fight. And now that's right. The wall goes down in heaven, so they're going to try and maintain control here. Planted. I think the lockdown going to force them back, but not all the way out. This is heaven controls. This could be hard. You've still got so many players here. Yeah, the lockdown's going to come in, but how much they get forced away? There's still a little bit of playable area up there, and Turco's going to just thrive among it. Three more seconds, and he can get back to where he wants to be. But for now, they ain't that fussed about this mind freak moving around as well. Just gets absolutely eaten alive. Down to one divide. That op has found nothing, no value in this one yet. And this has been the perfect adjust, perfect lean towards A. He does have Shiba by his side, but this does mean that A will be lighter than before. They have to be proactive, but the wall's going to be behind them. But this is Forsaken Spray actually does find Izzy, but they're going to return this fight. They're turning it around slightly. Brave is happy to take this. Caught in the heels almost. Mind Freak pulling the attention, but Forsaken still stands. Now they are boxed in, but they are fighting. towards B main. Still two to hold down the four. Mind Freak actually was spotted. Oh, the gravity were perfect actually for the first, but Turco in position to trade and get the res. Oh, no. oh, Dubai makes value just before position gets really revealed. The intent fully known. And he needed it, but Turco denies it. What a shot from him. Massive impact this round is Benkai. We know he's been playing towards that A side, so his rotation's a little further away. Position. Now, fully. Oh, everyone knows where he's at. On the switch up, still isolates Russ. Goes for a follow. Can't get it. Brave is there. Benko could be in as far as bother, but Devai isn't playing from the rafters. Catches Izzy on the push up. Now that's going to slow progress. SMB going to have to work out how to try and pry these players out of these slightly deeper positions. The flash doesn't land. The repeat's good for Devai, but he doesn't land the shot. That time, it's still not hitting. It's Mind Freak going down, and Devai's now fallen. He had so many bites of the cherry. Benkai! What a round from him! He still needs more, though. Turco still should get his back. Turco shouldn't cause any more problems, but it's still Turco. That's one. He needs to find two more. 30 seconds left. Benkai on pillar. He knows that. Shiba up top. Maybe not so aware. And now Turco, maybe considering that's to mask the sound of the drop, he should know, but Benkai! This guy as well, en route through CT, that's all going up and away we go. Brave though, waiting, gets set up for one, that's a good first pick up towards Forsaken. Is he is by his side, and Paper X leaning right back up. In position is poor, and Turco still on A site here to hold down. And another tripwire invested on A main. Yeah, they didn't do enough to pull these rotations that deep or that long. They made a bit of contact, lost a player, and then started running. Poor can just sit and wait for this. I, yeah, I'm not impressed by this at all. Mind Freak's gone. Benkai, your last one standing. Yeah, that wasn't good enough to shake response. Now they're going to really understand this. Now Forsaken, has he been considered well enough? They've got to be so aware. No, they're not. And this is a huge problem. It's just fallen to pieces down here. Forsaken could overextend on that if he wanted to. Decides against it. Leaning towards that B side. Look how deep they're holding on this. Russ. That Cypher sitting is slightly deeper, but Russ is going to play forward. There's two players here. He's going to get one. He gets the second. The third evades, but already damage has been deeper. I doubt he does. Just be on bodyguard duty for that spike to go down and try and sit towards the rafters. Works up the back of the utility with the KJ, that's lovely. Pora couldn't quite catch him in the back, so now there's an opening. Pora has to push forward. Finds Dak, not the frag, and Benkai again, they're gonna sh- the only one with the SMG. Is he actually with the operator online here, but it's weird at the start of this round. Turco's still gonna find Benkai. 
<laughs> it's like those dreams where you can't. 30 seconds left. Very offset timing. And the double stack now. Oh, flash is perfect. Turco is just set in motion. Couldn't ask for anything better. Nice little ear, but they couldn't handle. Mind freak on the swing. Gonna take down two and puts Brave in a bad Five spot here. Beat. Tries to look towards heaven, but one's already slipped towards sight. He has got Izzy coming through on CT, and that's gonna catch Forsaken on the cross. And Izzy still right there, and he will not be moved. Higher, but Forsaken kind of gave away his positioning in the end, but this is a lovely sight take. It's worked out perfectly. Now they need to hold the retake. You want to fight it? Ooh. Dubai could have a nasty little position. Playing out this cubby here. Let's see if he can make something of it. Dubai just gonna have to wait patiently. He's gonna have to hear the audio cues because one set through there in someone else's problem, but it's Shiva is forsaken. It's a shutdown! Four players back to back four for SMB and they can't make it. That's okay. Turco and Izzy are still okay for the purchase, but Brave no way! That's one he can't make more of. I thought he could have just sprayed and prayed on that, but he couldn't. And now they're gonna flood on through. You want you can see SMB wanna just close that gap, try and get as close as possible. Paybreak's like, oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of you. We're gonna just chill out for a second. Again, the timing's not there though. They can't capitalize on this pressure on the other side of the map and also Pora's utility still in place to just confirm that that's not the case. He will actually head back towards A, but Paper X. They wait behind him, anticipating the res. Potentially, is he good for two headshots, though? So. We'll say he can finally responds, but a man advantage firmly in place for SMB and Russ. Damage towards Devi, but he's going to actually kind of close that gap real quick, trying to bounce off the back of it, but he can't do it. Izzy does well to stay alive, but expects more, and there isn't. They're all over towards B main, and oh my word, if he reads this right, yeah, you can see them scattering, running out of there, because they do not want to be near each other right now. Damage done. Paper X a, a tricky res to achieve, but actually we're finding Brave here. Might pull Izzy out of position. They should be able to just hit straight for <laughs> default here, Izzy. And no position to do anything about it other than the opening being found, but then in, but it's definitely not gonna be a full purchase. And now when it's We had him here, that was it. So actually a great read from Paper X to get the spike down, get into this post plant. Wait, Pora's going ahead. Whoa, no way. Pora just walks out, forsaken even a little baffle, but he gets himself healed up. A little bit of better position, pops the ult and gets ready to go. What's happening in the back lines? I look at this. Sheba's got this wall up to slow down towards screen. They funneled him, man. This is... They have to come through this choke point. Either that or heaven window. And it looks like now's the time. Straight on through. Izzy's the first one. Put his life on the line. Mindfree catches him midair. Drags him down. And they're all just holding. Benkai's got three players around this corner. He's got crossfires. He's got support. But he's only got one. Trades come in. It's a one for two. As now Brave is your last one alive. Divide goes in. Mindfree stops him. On the other side, you're starting to get... Yeah, Mindfree not far off. Benkai not far off. And this round should be... A gifter. You will now. not kill my ally. <laughs> I'm not saying it too early because we've seen Russ and some other people do some mad shots. And Izzy oh, finding no. Forsaken. Hyde Park, this is not meant to happen this way. Spike's going through sewer to try and keep it safe. Ferrying its passage towards A, but there's players in between. This is not safe just yet. Considering this possibility. Oh, Sheba's going to go right into the spree fire for Brave. He heard just enough of the steps. Brave's found Sheba, and now Benkai and Mind Freak are sweating. This is panic stations everywhere. Benkai feels surrounded because he is. Russ has got him. There is no way SMB are going to do it like this. Mind Freak now in a 1v3. They've got rifles. They're geared up. They're ready to go. Is he the first challenge? Mind Freak passes it. He needs more. Divide goes up. He has to put everything into this. He does not. Can he slip into spawn? Round. No way. This is it. Oh, oh my god! Right next to each other! Russ, it was just a jump scare coming through that! They had nothing left, Lauren. Sheriff. Absolutely nothing. Tournament life now on the line. SMB might have given themselves just that lifeline needed, but Benkai's still fighting. He finds Russ and they're not giving up just yet. They fashion together the best buy they can. It's got light armor. It's got guardians. It ain't pretty, but it's the best they can do. Brave Oh, the adjustment for Brave! It's just perfect! He wants this done! He wants to move on from this game! As now Benkai, Divine, and Shiba facing down Izzy in middle. Pain Shell comes in as a swing from the right side. There it is! Towards B site. But Brave. Right. He's down another. Brave! It's an ace to close it out! To keep SMB!